What's going on, everybody? Hashtag Data Spartan back with a new video today. And I am joined by Sarah Muniz. She is the author and speaker at Undiscovered Voices, and she is on a mission to find and bring more women into the insurance industry. So, Sarah, thank you for joining me. Thank you. Cool. So what I really wanted you to do is just give a, a little bit of background about why you're on this mission, maybe give some ideas around the blockers right down now that exist with bringing women into the insurance industry. And then maybe just book in that with maybe a couple ideas that you have about how we can improve that and how we can make this whole thing happen. Okay, absolutely. So um, the problem is that isn't that we don't have enough women in the insurance industry. It's that we have plenty of women in, in the insurance industry that aren't getting discovered for the talents that they have. Right. And they're getting a hard, they're getting stuck basically on in under management um, type positions, lower management levels. Mm -hmm. So um, what I'm trying to do is help convert the 61% of women that are in the insurance industry because um, we have more women in the insurance industry than men. It's just the men are in leadership. Right. Um, more than women. So only 12% of women make it into leadership type positions. Right. So I'm trying to convert that so that we have a more even playing field. So my mission is really to help bring that to light, that we have an issue. There's a lot of complaint about not having enough talent in the insurance industry. Mm -hmm. And I'm coming back with, we have the talent. We have 61% of women yeah. that aren't making it past a lower management level. Why and how do we implement that talent? bring them up. And then when we do that, we're going to attract the next generation of women. Interesting. So what, what do you feel the blockers are or how do we sort of pave that path? Like, what are your thoughts there? So I think that the most important thing is that women have the capability to talk to their leadership mm -hmm. openly and honestly without feeling that they could have repercussions or get in trouble for, what what they believe yeah or what their opinions are or how they want to move up what's happened to me in my career is i've been told numerous times this is where you should be this is where you're always going to stay we don't see you as moving up past that point so um and that happens a lot and then when i've spoken up i've gotten in trouble for speaking up i've gotten told just to stay in my place in my lane and don't don't do more than what they want me to do I think the conversation needs to change where we're asking really everybody finding out what their career path they see themselves at, yeah. how we can help them stay in that career path. Or maybe if we see a different path, like give them options yeah. and come up with a plan together to, for them to reach the levels that they want to reach and the employer get to keep the employee because they're not frustrated with getting stuck on the treadmill at one at their company. Yeah, because that's the thing, like, I guarantee these companies have gems somewhere and they just need to go digging for them, right? That's what I sort of feel. Yes, yes. And that's what the book is all about is how to find all the talent you already have in the workplace. Interesting. And really. So if you were to give, you know, one piece of advice to leadership, to anybody that sort of aligns with, you know, how you feel, what, what would that be? Open, safe communication is my, and safe is the key word yeah. because the door, the, the um, term used open door is used not correctly. I feel like a lot of times because every place I've ever worked at, they've told me they have open door yeah. yet. If I try to go knock on the door to talk to them, I'm told to go away, set up a time. Then when I do want to talk to them, they don't want to hear it. That's mm -hmm. not open door. That's not open and safe. Open and safe is. I'm going to take what you tell me in confidence yeah. and I'm going to help you and in exchange, that's going to help me and help my company as well. Yeah. So well, really open communication is the, the number one thing. Interesting. Now that's a good point. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I personally learned a lot. Thank you so much for that. So anybody watching, if we're not connected, connect with me, check Sarah out. Let's get on board. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and I'll catch you on the next one.